Today's video, we were over in my black tar green slime ponds. And sometimes wild creatures end up inside of these ponds, so it's a mystery pond. Who knows where she is? Hannah, do you see that right there moving? What, what is it? You see it? What is it? Oh, my finger! My finger! <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing weekend so far and for those that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video we were over in my black tar green slime ponds. The ponds that I have all different creatures and sometimes wild creatures end up inside of these ponds. So it is springtime and that means that turtle breeding season is in full swing. I have yet to look for any turtle eggs. So today I'm going to be digging around in the dirt. We're going to be searching for some turtle eggs. We're going to be searching for other creatures that actually live inside of the dirt and we are going to be going through the ponds to see what is inside of the ponds all the crazy turtles there could be some snakes in there guys who the heck knows so if you want to see us dig around for some turtle eggs you want to see us go inside of these black tar green slime ponds well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that all right so we made it into my beautiful grove right now and we are heading over to check out our turtle ponds to see what is inside the ponds we're gonna be going through like i was telling you guys check out the different turtles but first i wanted to do a checkup on cheech chong and china my serval so we have got mrs china over here hanging out in her beautiful habitat we got miss china girl hanging out on the inside how you doing miss china how you doing pretty girl hi china so china's hanging out this is about my year old African serval cat. So we're gonna be pairing her up with one of the serval boys. Hopefully make some more baby servals. So we got her in this awesome habitat for those that haven't seen it. It's pretty, frick it's pretty cool. She's hanging out in there and we just got some new bamboo to actually hang up. I put one of the bamboos right there to block out more sun. We got full roof. And then we have my serval boys, Cheech and Chong. So Cheech and Chong are just hanging out over here on their deck, having an afternoon Playtime up on the deck. Hi, my boys. Would you guys like to come for some pets, please? I would like to give you a pet. No? So as you can see, the servals are kind of standoffish. Um, they like my affection, but only when they want it. So let's see if he'll actually say hi right now. Hi. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good kitty right there. This is Cheech, which is my favorite of all the servals that I have. And now that Cheech is giving me some love, maybe Chong will hang on out. Chong's walking away, giving me these kisses. Thank you, boy. I love you. So this is their habitat right here. We got a lower deck, upper deck, and even higher deck, a little den box. We got all kinds of enrichment for them. We've got eggs. We got balls, hanging balls, coconuts, palm fronds, all kinds of good stuff. But now we're going to make our way on the back side of their habitat which is where we keep the aquatic turtle ponds so right over here we've got some turtle ponds we've got some tortoises hanging on out so today we're gonna be digging around in like two specific ponds we're gonna be inside of this pond right here because I think there's actually some eggs in here we're gonna be hanging out in this pond which I'm really happy with how this one came out actually I don't even think you guys have seen this one yet so if I have not shown this yet well here it is so this is where we keep some albino pink belly side necks in here and let me show you the other ponds we're going to be digging in because there is most definitely going to be some eggs today. It is springtime, so there is definitely some turtle eggs. I haven't dug up any eggs yet, but I am sure we're going to find some. We have some Indian spotteds in here. Specifically, my female lives inside of this pond. As you can see, it's a mystery pond. Who knows where she is? What else is in here? We've got breeding fish in here, tadpoles, all kinds of crazy stuff. My male Indian spotted is here again. I'm gonna actually be pulling out a lot of these turtles to show you guys, but the males in here. I have some Japanese pond turtles in here, which is super cool. I'm hoping to get some eggs for them this year for the first time. And we have some younger Indian spotteds in here, which are definitely not breeding, so we're not even gonna dig around in that pond. So to get started, we're gonna go back to the end to my albino pink bellies. We're gonna try to dig up some eggs from them. I got eggs last year from the for the very first time. We did not hatch out any albinos, so I'm hoping if there are eggs, we're gonna hatch out some albinos. And there's also a bunch of other creatures living in the soil of this pond. So if you wanna know what creatures are living in there if we're gonna dig up some eggs well we're gonna get in and we're gonna start digging all right all right we're approaching our pond and we have our little egg bin but the first thing I want to do before we start digging around is we're gonna pull out some turtles right now but I want to look around to see some disturbed area so I actually put a layer of mulch around all of the land area so when they did nest it would actually disturb it so when they would nest it would leave exposed dirt so I know they were digging and I'm looking right over here and this looks like some 
exposed dirt right here. Look at this. So everywhere else, it's covered by mulch. But right here, you can see the mulch has been disturbed and this ground is extremely loose. So I think that they were digging around in here, either doing some test nests or there could be some eggs. There's also an area there and there, but we're just gonna have to dig around to actually find out if there really is some nests. But first things first, guys, I wanna reach my hand in here and see what we can find. All right, we're gonna reach in. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. That's the albino. Look. You can see the albino turtle right here. Look at him. I think that's the albino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, look at this. I'm going to gently grab him. Look at this beautiful turtle that I've had from a hatchling. Look at this. Albino pink belly side neck. One of the coolest turtles you can have. And then by having that albino color, well, it just makes him that much cooler. What an absolutely insane color morph right here. And he's, he's kicking and, and scratching. Hannah, I need help. Hannah, I'm getting scratched. All right, go back in. Go back in. So I had to recruit my sister Hannah to get behind the camera because I need both hands to catch these feisty turtles and hold them. But look right here, look, 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 look. There's the albino, he's curious. Let's get him right now one more time. Okay, I got him. All right, we got an albino. Look at this beautiful turtle. I wasn't able to show you the belly. That's why they call them pink belly side necks. They got this beautiful orange belly and the albinos are just incredible turtles. Look at him. He might want to bite me. Look at that big old mouth right there. Such a cool turtle. If I were to put my finger there, he might crunch on me. So cool. Hi there, little guy. So I'm going to hold on to him, but I'm going to find one of his buddies in here. Wait. Oh, okay. I got one. I think I got one. Okay, look at this. So this is the difference between an albino and a regular pink belly. Now the albino is actually a color morph that pops up in all different species, whether they're reptiles, amphibians, or mammals. So look at the difference between them. These two are looking like some females, so we're gonna release them back on in the pond, but I know we have another albino in here somewhere. We just gotta, we gotta reach around and find them. Oh, my finger, my finger! What happened? I'm just kidding, I just wanted to spook you. Oh my gosh, don't do that. <laughs> The other albinos right here. I caught him. Look at that. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Two albinos right here. And this one's a little more rosy pink than the other. And then this one's got a much darker belly. Um, we got two big albinos right here. Two actual females, which is really good because we want the females to lay eggs. Hopefully give us some albino babies. So enough with these crazy turtles. As much as I love them, we've got to dig for some eggs because we're losing some sunlight right now. So we're going to let them be. So like I was telling you guys, right over here, is the area that I want to check out first because you can see right here that this dirt is actually all loose. So we're going to just dig around. I like to always check the corners first because the animals really like to go up in the corners to actually lay their egg. Now we want to be gentle. Now a lot of times these turtles will actually go right on the surface. So it's getting hard down there so I don't think they made it. So we're just going to cover that on up right there and then and then we're just gonna keep on digging around and see what we can find. We're looking for a pearly white color, kind of like a white chicken egg you get at the store, but they're gonna be much smaller and kind of an oval shape. But we wanna be gentle again. We don't wanna crack them and disturb them. Oh, wait, what is this? I think I, oh, nope, that's just a rock. Hannah, do you see that right there moving? What, what is it? You see it? What is it? I can't see look, it. Look, it's moving. Oh, what you is see that? that? Look at it. Wait, 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 look at this, look at this. Oh, it's an earthworm. So this planter bed is actually filled with earthworms, loaded, look at them. So these guys are actually really healthy for the soil. These guys are healthy for any soil right here. This is a crazy looking earthworm right here. But what we're gonna do right now is, Hannah, wait, wait. I'm gonna put it on you and put it on. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna put it right now in the pond right now for the turtles. This is a really healthy snack, so we're just gonna plop them on in. There he goes, sinking down into the abyss to be a turtle snack. Really healthy, high in protein for any of your turtles. So we're gonna continue our search right over here. We're just gonna keep on digging away. Do <gasps> you see that? I see it. Look at it, look at it, guys. Oh. Successful mission, baby! Look, turtle eggs, and not just one or two, but it looks like there's a bunch. We already got one, two, three, and four. I'm not sure how spread around the clutch is. Okay, and so we're gonna start with these ones right here. I'm just gonna lift this egg on up and we're gonna place it just like I found it, just like that. We got one, two, three. Wait, our third egg right here, but what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below. How many eggs did she lay? Look, there's a worm coming out where the eggs are. Do you see it? Oh wait, he just disappeared. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So I think we got our last egg. And on our last egg, not only did we get an egg, but we found another earthworm right here, which is really cool. So we're going to put 
our last egg right on in and we have another earthworm and we're just gonna plop them right on into the pond. Let's make sure we got all of our eggs and it looks like we have got all of our eggs so we wanna close this on up. Now we're gonna keep on digging around over here to see what else we can find. I'm not seeing anything here. This was all where the disturbed dirt was. And now that we got our eggs, let's actually do a count real quick before we head on over. So we got one clutch of eggs and one of those turtles held one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 eggs. This is really exciting stuff. So now that we co collected our eggs, let's head over to our next pond. So we just made it over to our next pond. We have our nesting area here. And like I was telling you guys, we've trapped fish in this pond, but it is full of this crazy water, this crazy water plants that are just thick inside of the pond. So we're gonna have to actually look at our turtle, but let's come over here to our nesting area first. We're gonna place this on down. Now, everything here looks compacted, except for this area right here. All of this actually seems pretty loose, like there could be some nests that were laid here. So we're gonna check that out in a second. But first I wanna show you what is living inside of this pond. So we actually have a lot of these plants here, so we're just gonna kinda move some of these just right on out of the way, just like that. And we're just gonna get in, we're gonna get down, we're gonna get dirty, let's get on in. Right now we're gonna reach around. Okay, I feel it, I feel it, I got it, I got my hands on it. I got my hands on it, look at this. Okay, Hannah, you see this? Oh my look at this. goodness. Look at this. Big, huge, giant, female Indian spotted turtle. This is one of my breeders. Now this is actually a critically endangered species, but due to captive breeding efforts, there's actually a huge population of these, especially here in Florida. Um, just some incredible turtles right here. These guys are found in India. Okay, pretty mama. I think mama wants on down, so we're gonna put mama on down. We're gonna start digging in here, but first I wanna show you the, the male turtle, which in my opinion is a lot prettier than the female. Even though they're both awesome, let's reach on in. See what the heck, wait, see what the heck we can find. Oh, I got him, he's running around. I'm chasing him, okay, wait, wait, wait. Look at him, oh, I got him, look at that. Look at the head on this guy. Look how incredible he is. You can see, that's why they call him Indian Spotted, because of those incredible yellow spots. If you guys have been here for a while, you know we've been hatching these out for a couple years. They're, they're completely speckled when they hatch, and as they get older, they kind of keep some of those little dots. So we're gonna release this beautiful male back on down into the abyss. And now we're gonna start digging up our eggs. Well, hopefully we've got some eggs. We're gonna be searching for these eggs in here. We're gonna jump right into this and we're gonna start digging around inside of this right here. Since this is this loose debris that I saw. So you can see that this, look at that. That's a good sign of a covered nest, an old water plant that's still kind of fresh was buried in the dirt. So I think we're off to a good start. We wanna be nice and gentle here. Oop, I'm feeling a cavity. I'm feeling something. Oop. Oh, I feel eggs. You do? I feel eggs. Look at this. Oh. Look, 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 look. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, look at the white. You see oh, it? Oh my goodness. Ooh, there it is. Oh, there's more. Guys, now this turtle's much larger, so I believe we're going to be dealing with a lot more than just 13 eggs. I'm thinking we're going to be dealing with 20 to 30 eggs. It could no be. Way. Yeah, yeah, way. I think it could be even more than that. But there's only one way to find out. We just got to dig in. We got to dig this clutch up just like this. I want to reveal the top part of these eggs, which are just beautiful. Let's actually get one of these bad boys out. We want to be super gentle with how we handle them. We're just going to put them right here. And obviously we're able to differentiate them from the other eggs because they're so much larger. But look, Hannah, look, this is like, this is like Christmas. Oh this is like Christmas, baby. No matter how many times I dig up these eggs, it's always just so much fun. This is what I've dreamed about doing since I was a little kid. So getting to live out my dream each and every day is incredible. So let this be inspiration for all of you that you can follow your dreams and do what you want and be successful with it because I've done exactly that. Look at that, two more eggs, beautiful eggs. So far we've got actually one, two, three, four, five eggs and there's a bunch more. Look, you see that Hannah? Yeah. And we're just gonna keep on digging. One hour later. So we just pulled right now our 20th egg and there is still at least four to five more. So my predictions were right. We were gonna have 20 to 30 eggs. Look at this. This is what I would call a successful day. All of these incredible turtle eggs. But if we move some of this, look, we got 20. There's at least 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Guys, we might break 30. And I think last year we had 34. So maybe we'll break the record. Who knows? I think we have our last egg inside of the clutch. 
Let's actually dig out this dirt. And this is the kind of the nest cavity that she laid all of her eggs in, a perfect nest cavity, nature's perfection. And I'm not feeling anything else. So with this last egg right here, and well, that my friends is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching, digging around inside of my black tar ponds today. We had a successful day. We got 30 Indian spotted eggs and 13 or 14 pink belly eggs. I've got to get these incredible eggs inside so we can incubate them to, and to hopefully hatch them all out. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite turtle from today's video. And if you guys are not yet subscribed to me, you want to see these baby turtles hatch on out. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.